hello and welcome to this demo uh, in this demo we would be talking about uh, making calculated columns right so in SQL at times you may need to um, calculate certain columns for instance say you have a column called as first name and you have a column called as say last name you'll have to probably make a third column which combines the values of the first two and then inserts it into the third one so under such circumstances it would be beneficial if you use computed columns right so we'll be looking at a very simple example in this let me just fire up my management studio and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table let me just go to my demo DB and I'll create a table called as say calculated table I'll give it a column name called as first name bar care of say 50 okay give it a second column called as last name I'll call it as give the data type as bar care of 50 We'll create one more column called as full name. Right. So if I just explore the options over here, I would find something called as computed column specification. So I'll need to give in a formula for this. So depending upon the complexity of your business requirements, you may have to give more complex formulae over here. For now, I'm just going to combine the values of my first name and last name to get the full name. So I'll write something as first name plus last name. Right, so if someone inserts in the first name and the last name, it is going to compute the full name and insert it into this table. So I'll just save this table and call it as demo underscore compute. Okay, I had created a trigger over here. Earlier I'll have to disable this trigger I think. Let me just see. Mm. database triggers oh yeah so I'll just delete this trigger and now it should probably work yeah so now if I refresh this table I'll find my demo compute table over here right so let me just insert something into this table so I'll write insert into my demo compute values say ABC and say PQR. So what it is going to do is it is going to insert in the first column the value ABC in the second column the value PQR and third is a computed column. So it is going to combine these two values. So that is the formula that I just made. Let me just execute the statement and if I check my table, hmm, interesting. Okay, so now it says one row is affected. Now probably if I have a look at this, yeah, so for some reason it didn't execute at the previous attempt, so that's pretty much it, so I gave a value for first name as ABC, last name as PQ1 and according to the formula, the full name column has been populated with the value ABC PQR. Right. So depending upon your business requirements, you could create more complex formula, you could actually say for instance, you may have a requirement like depending upon 
certain value for a column you may have to give an increment or a decrement or probably categorize that particular user into a particular category so all these things could be possible when you can make a calculated column and then proceed according to your requirements